Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. And today we're looking at our very first all new redesign for 2024, Sierra Denali Dooley, the big dog here. So very quickly, if you're not familiar with the uh, new Sierra HDs, they are available in six trim levels, your Pro, your SLE, your SLT, AT4, Denali, and Denali Ultimate. Um, you have two engines, your 6.6 Duramax diesel, which is shown here, and we also have the 6.6 uh v8 gas that's 401 horsepower and 464 foot pounds of torque and this duramax diesel is 470 horse and 975 pounds of torque so let's just go ahead and start this bad boy up look at those animations Going to the top of Mount Denali. Start her up. Let's pop Z hood. And both engines now come with the 10 speed Allison transmission. And again, the Duramax 66 liter logo there with the Allison transmission. Pretty straightforward stuff. You're gonna open this hood, you put your hand straight in here, push to the right, and lift up. And your air intake is here. You can see it comes in, spins around here, goes across, down into here, through your air filter box and into your engine. You can see it's a little grommet here, lets water out. And again, if you park under trees or whatnot, you can just turn this off this, uh, and clean it out. So the, it is still the L5P Duramax diesel engine. But now, with a little more horsepower and torque, like I mentioned there, and it's doing that, it's got a few changes, but the big change is a new turbo, okay? And uh, you can see over here, we've got our first battery, our main battery, okay? Fuse panel, brake fluid, rad fluid overflow, our 15W40 synthetic oil, and our windshield washer fluid right there. And again, the Duramax branded logo there let's just back up and take a look at this bad boy Whew. she's a big truck so some of the cool things new obviously we've got exclusive and new wheels 18 inch with the chrome covers we're in canada so we got the block heater cable plug right here new badging you see the 35 or 25 badge was there Okay, we still have our beep, 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 perk assist sensors here. Talking Denali, black on black. Denali with the, all the chrome. Very sharp looking. Again, everything's all LED headlights, taillights, fog lights, daytime running lights, marker lights. We've got the felt liners that help with the pinging and the panging. So you'll get that noise when you're driving down gravel. You can see here we've got the wheel-to-wheel -wheel GM six-inch oval boards. One foot here, other foot here, and now you can grab something in the box of the truck. Nice finish on the wheels. Pretty awesome. Rear corner step, same thing like the front. Hand in here, now you're in the box of the truck. Go in the back here. We can see we've got the multi pro tailgate. We got the pro trailering system. We know this because of these two symbols here, which tells us we've got 14 camera views. And we got the multi pro tailgate. So let's look at the functionality of this. Uh, some people, some people do reviews and say it's a little more difficult to use. It isn't. It's ridiculous. So one button here, one button here. Let's watch this thing fall down button right here and now you can get into the back of your truck very easily if you need a handle GM's got you covered pull here locks back down you can also see here we've got the plugins for your fifth wheel hitch or whatever your sorry your fifth wheel trailer and you can see here we've got the fifth wheel prep package we've got the Denali logo up here so we know it's a factory spray and liner and we've got 
your lights, another power outlet here, all your tie downs in your corners. And again, the multi-pro tailgate, just fold that up. Maybe you just want to push just the top button, have this down, some lumber sticking out. Maybe you want to just push the bottom button here and you want to open up this for a gap stop. So now maybe some lumber, some plywood, a quad, you know, things won't slide out, kayak. Close it down. Really, really straightforward, easy to use. I'm gonna get down low here. Excuse me. So you can see here, we've got the monotube shocks in the back, the heavy duty shocks. If this was, a, if it had the optional Z71 or X31 package, this would be a Rancho shock, meaning as a dual tube shock. Both are heavy duty, just one's a little bit stiffer. And that's a primary difference between the two. Uh, but one of the big things to talk about here is your differential in the back. And uh, in the rear end, we have a G80 auto locking rear differential still. We have a big 12 inch ring gear in here as well. And the big deal with the ring gear is that if it's a 10 or and a half and or 11, you're ch changing the torque numbers to, to uh, lessen the power to these wheels. And with having a big 12 inch ring gear, you're not losing power to your rear wheels. That G80 auto locking differential again is automatic. It's automatic. So again, you've got your set of wheels here. If these wheels spin 100 RPM different than this one, they lock together and they spin in unison, giving you the best possible fuel economy. Just gonna get up. You see here, we got a marker light, side GMC light here. Once here, we can see we got the high mounted lights here as well, but I like that they're blacked out. They're not uh, orange or anything, so they don't look, I don't know, I think it looks a little more expensive. We just had a look, I had this washed earlier this morning. I'm not sure if you can see a little coat of dust on it, but we had a little uh, shower just happen here. So we can see we got our def tank here. We've got our diesel fuel. Okay, and then we go into the interior because that is what everybody wanted was a new interior. So when we go into Denali, we're going into full grain leather. We're going into open pour real wood and your real aluminum accents, super sharp. And you can see all the different double stitching the piping and different colors, different soft touch materials for comfort, right? When you're in Denali, you also have your Bose seven speaker surround sound system with your true bass subwoofer. Let's take a look at the back seats here. Again, they might get a little lens flare here from the camera, but you can see here we've got the center console armrest here. We've got the seat back storage. So again, you know, four liter jug of washer fluid and some booster cables on each side, right? You want to lift up the seat, just lift up. We got some storage in under and you can get the hard cover storage as well as an option. Just pull down that seat anywhere at all. And you know what? Power sliding rear window, who doesn't love that? But I've, uh, I've said this in other videos. I love the fact that, you know, there's a lot of times there's people not using this back seat. So again, you can just push this button and now you get a little more visibility out the back windows, which is really nice. You can see we got our vents, USB, USB-C, heated leather, right? Three levels of heat. And just give an overview of the inside real quick. big truck that's continuing with the interior again you can see all the nice soft touch materials different feel texture on this versus this versus the open pour wood you see how the color changes a little bit very very nice power memory seats and you know what let's go over you have some people ask about the mirrors and stuff so here's our mirror we can just push this button right here in the center that's your power extending right and if we push this button right here that's your power folding just me and my iPhone folks okay and since we're talking about mirrors we do oh, oh, oh focus we do have your box light here and we also have this little light here so you might have heard me say in previous videos these two little two little lights here are shining when you're in reverse and they hit right back here on the, on the ground 
So again, if you're getting tight to a building, you're trying to park somewhere really tight with your trailer, you can see the ground right here by your rear wheel, and that's in reverse with those two lights. Now in the front of these, we have what's called job lighting, okay? So if you push it once, it's just this light, push it a second time, it's that light, push it a third time, it's both lights, and a fourth time, it's off. But if you just watch, I'll turn on that front job lighting, and I'm just gonna push this button here once, and you'll see that these LEDs are now on. There you go. And, oh, actually, you know what? Before continuing inside, sometimes I forget about this, I skip, I skip over this, and I save it for the end of the video, but this is a really, whoops, really important thing to talk about, is that GM gives you a label in all of our pickup trucks, okay? So again, specific to this vehicle, so I could say, hey, the all new uh, Sierra HDs have best in class 2,500 towing at 21,900 uh, pounds, and it has the best in class HD towing in a 3,500 do rear wheel at 36,000 pounds of towing. But, you know, that's in a regular cab, sh uh, short box, or regular cab, long box, you know, odd truck. So when, I talk, when you talk about towing, it's important to know what this exact truck will tow. So this dually right here, conventional, so that your bumper pull, pulling is 20,000 pounds. And with a gooseneck or fifth wheel, it's got 31,000 pounds of towing. And your tongue weight is at 4,650 pounds. And your payload is at 5,217 pounds as equipped. So again, if you were in a uh, less equipped truck, so maybe a cloth truck, that sort of thing, you would have even more payload because this is a top dog Denali where you're getting more premium features than you will at a lower entry level uh, truck. So again, crew cab, four x four, dually, this truck, that's what you're getting. So um, let's look at more maybe interior stuff. So I know the sun's wreaking a little bit of havoc here. So you got a 10 way power adjustable seat, You've got your premium grade leather with that is perforated. We can see the different textures, right? So this versus here versus the perforated. And again, the nice Denali stitching. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay down here, actually. This is going to work good. So another huge thing, a huge feature we've had now for three years on our HDs is the auto 4x4. So I know we talked about the... Uh, auto locking rear differential. So that's great because you can drive around in two wheel drive high and you, if you start to spin or slip, it'll lock the rear end. But this auto locking is, let's say we push this, we'll see this up over here on the right in the DIC. You see it says auto over here. Maybe if I hit the two high, you'll see it switch over to two wheel drive, okay? But what this is doing is let's say it's snowing out, you're on gravel road, um, you know, maybe it's, uh, it's raining on the asphalt pretty heavily. Put it in an auto 4x4, you get the best possible traction if you spin or slip, right? Instead of having to be in four high like the old trucks or our competitors, and you're getting worse fuel economy and more wear and tear on all the components. So again, use that auto 4x4 and help save yourself a little fuel and again, get you the best possible traction. And of course, you got the 4x4 high for other situations when you're off on an old logging road hunting or something. Maybe you're launching your boat or you're in one of these real bad logging sites because you're, you're a logger um, or you're launching your big heavy boat and you're in the fisheries industry. Well, obviously you're going to launch that and do that all in four low at under 20 kilometers an hour anyways. Okay, but we've got another button here that's important. So we've got the trailer button. So if I push that, you'll see over here, it says tow, tow haul mode is on. Okay, we can turn this jog dial. And if we turn this jog dial, you'll see over here as well. Oh my goodness, focus camera. And you'll see we can go to off-road mode. We can go to normal and that little uh, change. And what that's doing is actually changing the throttle response, the dampening on your steering, your shift points of your transmission. So you get the best possible traction, more road feel, less slippage, depending on how you're driving the vehicle. Okay, so my foot's getting caught up here on the piece of cardboard we got here. So um, the other big thing, obviously, other than the interior surfaces, again, which is awesome, 
see the Denali here with the perforated leather and whatnot, is the infotainment system. So we've got, hopefully you can see this up here, we've got a heads up display and we can change the information on this so we can have our, our uh, driver assist technology, move this up a little bit. We can have our uh, compass, we can have our pitch and our yaw, two wheel drive and change this to auto four by four, you'll see the auto come up. So we can have different information, but we've got a color 15 inch heads up display here. We got a 12 and a half inch driver information center right here, which is color as well, which my phone does not want to focus on at all. I'm not sure why. That's well, probably because of the, the steering wheel. If I get closer, hey, there we go. So, and again, you've got a jog dial to control what you see up here on these different information pages, right? But let's go down here. I don't want to get too focused on that. I want to move over here to the infotainment system. So we've got a new Google built-in 13 and a half inch display, um, Google, uh, Google based infotainment system. So first question people ask is, you know, is it better than the old system? And the answer is it's already a thousand dollars better because it's, I don't know why my camera is having such a hard time. Here we go. Um, it's already better than the old system because the old system, you had to pay a thousand dollars, 995 Canadian to have navigation. Okay. So this is already a thousand dollars better than the old infotainment system. But you got to ask Brad, what's different? What's worse? Well, the truth is there isn't anything worse, but there's something different. Okay. So being a Google based system, it's going to use real time data, traffic, weather, all that sort of stuff in this system. But in order to get that real time data, you need an OnStar data subscription. Oh no, right? No, you can have five years of data in this truck for less than $500 Canadian. So that's still half the price of having the navigation right from the factory of old that you paid 995 Canadian for. So it is already now $500 better with real time traffic. So a much better based navigation system than the old one, which was a, a, a nav disc that was out of date in six months, right? So that's awesome. But there's one other thing that's really good. Brad, I don't want to have a data subscription. You can download maps that are offline maps to this and you can cover like all of Southern Alberta and some of Montana and some of Saskatchewan. You can uh, download a bunch of Northern BC, all of Northern uh, Alberta. You can do all of Northern Saskatchewan and a little bit of Northern Alberta and a little bit of Northern Manitoba all on one downloaded map. So there are, there is a quite a bit of maps you can download that are on that. Of course, it's not going to have real time traffic and real time weather because it's not connected, right? It's not using OnStar at that point. It's using your own offline map that you downloaded. So awesome system. Again, with the, the 15 inch DIC, with the uh, heads up display over here, D driver information center here, and the infotainment system here, we got over 40 inches of information. So that's more screen size than anybody else in this category, if you're into screen size. So we've got the home button here. We've got the home button here. Now I'd like to point out one thing. Notice how everything's black and I do have a screen, a screen protector on this right now. So it's going to be a little bit more glossy than normal, but take a look at this. You've got it all black. So even at night, this is not shining a bunch of bright into your cabin. One of our competitors has a big screen just here and it's all backlit white. Everything's white. This is all black. It's one of the key things driving at night, this is not going to pump too much light in your cabin. But we got, like the old system, a digital home button and a physical home button here. So we've got, it'll always go back to this screen here. Right now we can see we're listening to 995. We can scroll up because we want to see our maps. Maybe we want to see something different, like our trailer. Maybe we want to see the time, right? Touch audio, right? We're into audio. Hit home, scroll across. Maybe we want to touch climate and see what's going on here and have all of our digital climate features here hit the physical button or the digital one, doesn't matter. Again, we're back to here. Let's look at our cameras. Maybe mentioned before about all the different camera systems, right? So right now you can see we've got the forward base. I'll zoom, I'll get in a little closer. We've got the forward base camera on right now. You can see here, that's the rear camera on, right? We can do the side view 
and just watch this I can turn the wheels you can see them turn so again if you're in, if you're in the city you're trying to park tightly somewhere maybe we want to go to the bed view right so remember I mentioned about the 14 different camera views right so one of the things that's changed or one of the things that's I should say changed for the positive upgraded is that pro trailering system is the 14 cameras right but it, this truck also has your gross combined weight rating alert which actually uses your vehicle's acceleration data and it determines that when you've got your truck and trailer connected together that based on that acceleration data it'll warn you if it thinks your vehicle is, uh, your vehicle has exceeded its gross combined weight rating which is awesome uh, another big thing is your GMC's transparency trailer now works with gooseneck and fifth wheel package which is something that people love the transparency trailer before and uh, you know those are some of the key upgrades to that pro grade system which people you know really really enjoy when you look at I'm just gonna get the physical home button here maybe let's just go to the full Google Maps here but you still have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay so uh, yeah, I'm, no I'm not connecting and it's wireless right so here we go we can have an Android phone Apple car play phone Apple phone and this whole screen will become your iPhone with your you know your waypoints with your uh, maps with your um, audio books with your podcast all here with so you've got all that familiarity if you don't want to use this new uh, Google based system you can just use your CarPlay or you're just your simple Android Auto that you're used to using um, you know talking about the interior you can see all this chrome the piano black finish oh oops, it's not liking this there you go the, the textured aluminum here you can see here all the stitching up on the dash right you can see the open pour wood we were talking about before you got storage in here okay you got your lockable storage glove box down there moving down here you saw me do the push button start earlier but then we've got boy my iPhone's having a hard time today here I'm not sure why maybe I got a fingerprint on it but there we go we've got our cooled seats three levels of cool heated back heated back and bum with three levels of heat or cool you see we've got it on auto we can sync the temperatures here we got our diesel exhaust brake which is improved because we do have a bigger turbo than before we've got our lane keep assist with lane departure warning which also now works with your trailer your park assist beep beep beep, beep sensors put down your tailgate hazard lights and we've got our traction control stability control you can see down here USB and USB-C you can see our trailer brake controllers right here very easy to access pop this bad boy open we can see our, we got our wireless charging USB USB-C again another one we've got power outlet puddle light down here and storage and then let's move on up we can see right here first if I just flip this we can see my head beautiful haircut and if we flip it we've got the rear panoramic camera and one of the things I like about this is there's a couple buttons here so if I push this button the first one I can go to the brightness I can go to the zoom and I can zoom this in or zoom this out I really like this in parking lots and when I'm backing into my driveway to give me a better depth of vision so a wider depth of vision as well versus just having your shoulder check or just this which is awesome moving on up here we can see we've got our power sliding rear window and our sunroof slide and tilt and we've got our three garage door openers so three different garages we can program in and you can also see we've got our OnStar and like I mentioned before OnStar is three things it's your Wi-Fi in the vehicle it's your OnStar advisor maybe hey I'm an active subscriber I got a check engine light or I got a question about my truck what it's what is gross weight gross combined weight rating is push that button if you want to talk to a trained EMT you push the SOS and you're on the phone with a trained EMT and it also does cool things like stolen vehicle assistance and heaven forbid <clears throat> if your vehicle uh, if you're involved in a collision the vehicle um, OnStar detects a rapid deceleration or airbags are deployed it'll try to call the vehicle and uh, if you don't respond they'll call 911 emergency services to your location so just going to show you that sunroof here as well ah, 
step out of the truck. Just back up. But there you go, folks. It's a fast 24-minute <laughs> walk around on our very first 2024 GMC Sierra HD Denali dual rear wheel dually. Thank you, folks. Thank you. It's another one-take shoot here from Brad at Western in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Thank you.